Hey there, this is Richard Ross with Access Learning Zone. Welcome to my first ever video rewind. I've decided that my teaching style and the tutorials that I make don't really work well as short form videos. It's kind of hard to cover anything Microsoft Access related. I need at least 10 minutes to cover most topics well enough. Plus the vertical phone format doesn't really work well for my tutorials either. I also don't want to post regular videos and have to make you rotate your phone. That's kind of dumb too. Now, I don't want to miss out on the short video craze. So, I decided I'd put together a weekly-ish sort of video rewind where I briefly cover all the videos I've released in the past week or so. So, if you're interested in watching any of these, just head over onto my website and you can watch the full videos there. So, what did we do this week? Well, we talked about the new security risk warning that pops up in Access databases now if you download something off the web or it gets sent to you an email. In this video, I show you how to deal with that. I personally love random auto numbers and they have a lot of uses. In this video, I teach you how to set up random auto numbers and what they're good for. Lots of people always ask me this one, what's the difference between a null value and a zero length string and how can we tell the difference? This is a great video. A lot of applications like Microsoft Word can show you a word count. Well, what if you wanna do that in your Access database? If you've got a long text field or a memo and you wanna count the number of words in it, well, I'll show you how to do that in this video. Here's a developer level tip video. If you want to mimic that navigation bar on the bottom of the screen, this guy right here where it says four of 29, I'll teach you how to do that in this video. We'll make it say one of six or however many records you have. And as you move through the records, we'll use the record count and absolute position properties to display that value. And a couple weeks ago, I showed you how to get just the date part of a date time value. In this video, I'll show you how to pull the time part out so you can get just 5 p.m. or whatever with time value. So that's it for this week. Be sure to like this video and follow me if you want to learn more about Microsoft Access. And don't forget to visit my website and sign up for my free four-hour access course, accesslearningzone.com.